guys, Sam here. So I'm gonna take you through my top five glute exercises that are aimed at lifting, toning, and firming your glutes. But before we do that, I'm gonna take you through a series of stretching just so we can properly activate your glutes before we get started. So with hip thrust, um, with this exercise, setting up either um, a bar, which I find is more effective, or just using a chair for you to rest basically your shoulder blades on. And then what you're gonna do is you will figure out your foot placement by sort of raising your legs up and just letting them naturally drop. Okay, then you're ready to put your bar, bring it forward and begin the movement. So let's do it. So the next one is a sumo deadlift. The reason I personally stay away from conventional deadlifting is simply because uh, it does thicken the waist when you're a female, um, which is great for bodybuilders or guys, but if you guys are looking to get a smaller waist ratio and a bigger bum, I would stay away from conventional deadlifts. So with a sumo deadlift, it's obviously a wide stance. Toes pointed out. You're gonna calm down. Set yourself up, nice, strong, activate the glutes, pull up through hips. Make sure you squeeze at the top. It's extremely important to make sure that every movement is finished with a squeeze. Okay. So the next one is a single leg stiff deadlift. Now you can use a dumbbell or you can use a kettlebell. I do prefer kettlebells over dumbbells, but it's whatever you guys really prefer with. So two variations to this. If you're new to this, stability and core work is gonna come into play. So if you're not advanced enough in that yet to hold your body weight, especially with added weight, for your core stability, I'm gonna recommend that you use yourself just on something to balance yourself. So find your balance point. And then you're simply just gonna put one leg back, go down, and back up. So the next one I'm gonna show you is frog pumps. So there's two different variations to frog pumps. Well, there's a couple of different but I'll take you through my two favorite ones. So if you want to do an elevated frog pump, you will find something that's elevated, whether it's a chair or a bar. Instead of a normal hip thrust position, which would be like that, you are going to put your feet into a diamond position, okay? Put your heels rested on there, making sure that your knees always stay out. If your knees are going in, you're not going to activate your glutes properly, so you want to make sure your knees are always on the flexed out. Up. I always recommend holding at the top whether it's for three to five seconds and then relax. So now we're going to do variation number two with a frog pump. So once again you can do something like this. This can be elevated higher if you want but we'll just do it on a flat base. So. You will find your hips, rest them just there, find a place to hold on, same thing, it's a diamond foot position, you're going to come like a frog, stretch it out and tense.
Hey guys, I thank you for watching me and my top five glute exercises. I just want to quickly talk about one of my uh, post-workout supplements that I take that obviously it's probably on the highest of my list of supplements to take after I exercise. So Anabolic Edge is a hormone therapy pill. The reason I take this straight after I exercise is because during any strenuous activity or strenuous situation, your body's cortisol will rise. When your body's estrogen and cortisol rise, it does actually stop your fat receptors. So you won't actually be able to get lean if you've got high cortisol and estrogen. By taking this product here, Anabolic Edge, I just take two in the morning and then two straight after I train, and that actually helps reduce my estrogen and cortisol so I don't pocket fat, especially around my tummy, um, hips, thighs, and buttocks, things like that. So, perfect.